Hey family, welcome back to uh, Transcend with Ebony. It's Ebony dropping by with another video. This is just going to be a quick message to someone in particular. I don't know who you are, but the Lord put this word on my heart for you. Um, this individual has been trying to manifest you. They have been trying to manifest you. Um, so if you suddenly find yourself thinking about this individual out of the blue, and it's been like, it's been repetitive. You've been continuously just thinking about them out of the blue. And you hadn't been thinking about them for quite a while. Um, you've made peace with the situation. You're no longer with this individual. Uh, you've been living your life. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they just enter your mind um, repetitively over and over and over again. Or you begin to start uh, dreaming about this individual a whole lot um, or thinking about them. This individual is trying to manifest you. They're trying to communicate with you telepathically, um, energetically. So, um, you know, this is never by coincidence. I know sometimes we stop and we have a subtle thought of an individual from the past and we just think, oh, you know, oh, I haven't thought about that individual in years. I haven't thought about that individual in a while. This individual is thinking about you. This individual is communicating with you telepathically. And um, you may be completely unaware of this, but I'm here today to make you aware of this. Um, also, if this happens to be a narcissist, because for someone this is a narcissist that the Lord has pulled you away from. Um, if this happens to be a narcissist, they are trying to still use you as an energy supply. Um, they're still trying to use you as, as a supply energetically. So when this happens, the best way to block this, this type of communication is to detach yourself from them emotionally, detach yourself from those thoughts emotionally, and change your thoughts. Consciously, purposely change your thoughts onto something else um, in order to block them energetically so they're unable to, to reach you. Um, some of these individuals are able to astral project to you. Um, and this just reminded me of a time uh, many years ago, I had an individual um, that I was involved with and we were hundreds of miles away at one point and this individual explained to me what I was wearing down to the T. I mean, from the top to the bottoms to the shoes, this individual knew everything that I was wearing. Um, this individual would astro project to me. And this is not something that I've ever done. I don't have no, you know, didn't have any clue this was possible. Um, but the Lord started, you know, uh, educating me on it. This is very possible. Um, it, it's an out of body experience. This individual is able to. Uh, I mean, if you if you Google it, it's going to pretty much say an individual is able to separate their physical being and their consciousness. Um, and this individual has been doing this to you. So um, this is not to frighten anyone, but this is to inform you of what may be going on in your situation. And of course, um, with every word, take that back to the Lord and prayer test the spirit behind every word, uh, including that of my own, that of myself. Um, but yes, this individual has been trying to manifest you. So if you want to block that, um, if you know that God has put on your heart that this is not the individual for you, you should not be with this individual, then stick to that. Because I know certain individuals will say, oh, well, you know what? Suddenly this person is on my mind. You know, if God put them on my mind, then this must mean that that person is for me. No, it does not. No, it does not. This individual may be consciously, purposely trying to manifest you because they want you back. This individual may be meditating um, on thoughts of you due to the things that they did to you while in that situation and relationship. And if you are, uh, if you're an empath, you may even be able to sense their feelings. All of a sudden, you may be, you may be fine. You may be walking along the mall. You may be in the grocery store shopping, and all of a sudden, this person um, crosses your mind, and then all of a sudden, your emotions shift. In a drastic shift you may just get really sad or you may just get upset you may feel really emotional this is this, this is you um, picking up on this individual's energy so um, you know once you leave yes 
you're able to cut that supply off. But if this individual uh, is still able to reach you telepathically, or spiritually, then they are still able to use you as an energetic source of supply. So the best way to cut that off is to shift those thoughts every time they do come to mind. Um, also to detach emotionally, even though I know that can be quite challenging, uh, you know, from time to time, especially when this is an individual that you really had a deep connection with. This is an individual that you really had love for. It can be quite challenging, um, you know, to disconnect emotionally. But the more you stay emotionally connected to that individual, you are leaving that line of communication open and you're also leaving that energy supply open to them. So um, I pray that this quick message bless someone and encourages someone. I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. Um, also, if you feel led to be a blessing to the channel or to donate or to support in any way, shape, or form, the ways that you can do that will be found down in the description box. God bless you. Talk to you soon.